tenant and the next thing is some of you are getting the issue with setting up uh, with accessing the or sending the data like this from the uh, postman or uh, soap ui so initially uh, the tenant that probably i am using it it's set up a few months back so it is still allowing me to send the data using a username and password like this but uh, there is some recent change that has came up so uh, some of you will not be able to test it directly by username and password then how to test it that i'll show you so for doing that you have to create a service key that is basically encrypted username and password that you have to create how to create a basic authentication using client id and secret i'll show you go to the trial account that you are using okay and go to instance and subscription under the instance and subscription you have to create an instance so that you can also create by simply clicking on this button create and it will ask you what kind of instance you want to create so we are going to choose process integration runtime because we are going to uh, use it for the runtime that is how we want to test it i told you rt right that is for runtime so once i select that it is going to ask me uh, what it what you want to use it for i am going to use it for integration flows environment is correct cloud foundry space so i can choose any space or by default it will take it so normally you are going to see the development space that is available and i am going to give it a name cpi basic authentication go to next leave it the uh, settings as it is whatever it is go to next and create so what it is creating now is it has creating a runtime instance for your testing but you cannot still use it once it is uh, done you have to create a service key so with use of service key it is going to provide you the client id and secret so that is we are going to cover in the security session as well what is the purpose of that but as of now you can understand this is a encrypted way of uh, authentication so i'll click on this button to further assign or create a service key so as of now there is no service key created so i'll go and click on the create button and i'll just assign the same name to avoid any confusion i'll click on create so with this it will create a service key that is basically your username and password in the form of a client id which is equivalent to your username client secret which is equivalent to your password so let it be created in the meanwhile we'll go to postman so for example uh, this is the let me verify yeah so this is the tenant that we are using and there is an iflow that is already deployed with the, with the name iflow1 first scenario so as of now i'll first show you uh, with username password for example here basic or test with username and password i'm going to send it so this is a simple scenario with https sender that is created so it is working fine here so now let me create a copy of it and will assign a i'll duplicate the current tab under the authorization i am having basic authentication selected i am going to post some data to the same iflow and you can see here in the headers there is a basic encrypted way of uh, encryption is already used normally even we use a simple username password it is sent as a encrypted base 64 encryption but let's go and use it whatever we have created under the service key now so i'll click on this i'll go to view 
So basic authentication I have created. So it will give me an encrypted client ID. So this is my username moving forward. So client ID, I'll go and paste it here in the username. And then I'll copy the password. So you do not need to copy the double quotes. Anything between the double quotes is your username and password. Okay, so I have created it and it will again create a authentication by by this header parameter. So now I'll go to the body basic authentication test with client ID and client secret. Let us go and test it whether it is working fine or not. Yes, it is and you are getting a 200 OK. That means your request was understood and your user is valid. So that is how you can use it. Okay, test it. If the username and password is not working for you, you can use this method to test your scenarios.